corrupt as the Republicans, and I'm going to call them both out for it. Rule number four, I won't be a partisan hack. One of the worst things on cable news is that they think debate. I don't know what happened. I have a special treat for you. Normally for candy, we watch things that are silly and fun. But today we're going to try something new. We're going to do the Dave Rubin Power Hour. I had the good grace to find this Twitter account. Uh, it's Clips Dave. So twitter.com slash Clips Dave. I would like to thank the creators of twitter.com slash Clips Dave for doing my work for me. I no longer have to watch hours and hours of Dave Rubin. I can now just go to this and, and, and you've, you've selected all the greatest moments of Dave Rubin's life. So I think there's nothing more cathartic, something that unites everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a right winger, a left winger, or uh, somewhere in the center and confused. And what are you doing? What's wrong? There's no such thing as that political ideology. Get code and all that stuff you do, but it really is about you figuring out how to do all this stuff. And that to me sort of shows why the media and especially the leftist media, media. hates games now or hates gamers. They don't like people who solve problems. Am I, am I, is this a bridge too far or am I onto something? I don't know, I haven't really thought, I have to think about it, I haven't really thought about it. I think I, there's something there. Gamers sure. wanna get shit done. Whatever world you're in, whether you're playing a sports game or an adventure game or an RPG or whatever, you're trying to, you're building something, you're accomplishing something, you may have to have teammates and all do it. You don't want people to help you do everything and cheat for you. That's not what the left likes. Sure. So they have to not like games. I, I think there's something really there. But that you have to accomplish something in a video. <laughs> Some odd straw men going on here, eh? So, so the left hates people who solve problems, ultimately. So I set out then to warn when I had sort of assimilated all this. Uh, I, I, my mission was to warn other people. And that's how I know that Barack Obama is a communist. All right, so wait, let's, let's pause before we jump to, to modern day. So I set out then to war. Up to sort of view the world through the mathematical prism when we live in a time when that seemingly is so not rewarded, when sort of having facts and knowledge and evidence is not rewarded and your brain operates in that space. Do you weep for the state of math in America right now? Just the public state of it. Is there any part of your brain that doesn't operate in that way? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Which part? <laughs> well, I think that. Can I what taste it? What do you it? have in your brain? That's <laughs> I I love your brain. I just wanna I wanna see your brain. It doesn't matter why you want. To, think about it this way: these people that say, "Okay, you can have eight month abortions." Doesn't matter why you want an eight month abortion. You can have an eight month abortion. Well, now generally, those are the people who also will tell you that they're for gay people. Now, when science is able to actually identify the sexuality of a child, and now a Christian conservative forget Christian conservative, and anyone says they, oh my, I found out that I'm eight months pregnant and my child is gay, but I don't want a gay child. I should be allowed to have an abortion. The lefty's gonna say yes. Because, I don't know, they're gonna have to pick. Am I for gay people or am I for abortion? So you have to confront them with these ethical dilemmas and usually you'll watch their heads explode because they're not that good at, at thinking these things through. Think about it this way, these people. Uh, no comment there and the lefties win and Biden's president, they By the way, what, what is going on? It's like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not on, you know, the ridiculousness aside, is he just covered in sweat? Is he like in a bunker right now? And the lefties win and Biden's president, they will do everything in their power to destroy conservatives forever. Through big tech, through whatever governmental agencies they can, they will make sure that the ideas of conservatism will be treated as the ideas of Nazism. That is insanely dangerous. The debate is taking a Republican operative and a Democratic strategist, sitting them across from each other and letting them go at it. That is not debate, that's just drivel. Do you know how many former White House officials and party leaders work for the cable news channels? I don't know either, but yeah, it's a lot. Yes, I tend to agree more with people on the left, but I'm not in this for the Democrats. I think they're as sold out and as corrupt as the Republicans, and I'm gonna call them both out for it. Rule number four, I won't be a partisan hack. One of the worst things on cable news is that they think debate. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, I, there's no way that that can be answered that I think really can give a very satisfying answer other than I, I'm truly doing what I think is right. Truly. If people wanna watch, if they wanna support, they can. 
Um, can I tell you that there's no level of audience capture that I subconsciously can't even explain? Or the political like, yeah. PTSD you talked about before that yeah. you're kind of more focused on the left. Well, of course I'm more focused on the left. I believe that the, the, that the modern left, that the postmodern leftists, which now have taken over academia, which have taken over the media. He forgot to put the cultural Marxist in there. You got to add the Frankfurt school. What are you doing, son? It's amateur hour. Media, which have taken over the political establishment of the Democrats. I believe that is without question the biggest threat to individual freedom, to liberty, and to human prosperity that exists. That is far bigger a threat than I think Donald Trump is or even could be. I think it's a far bigger threat than, than the alt-right or whatever that is. <laughs> or, or whatever that is. I, I don't want to learn. End up being the furthest right. You will. There, it's you guaranteed. Yes. Because I know how evil that thing yeah. is. I mean, the, the truth is, I don't take any great pleasure in the fact that I've been right about almost everything for the last five years. Right as my career was kind of blowing up, like right at the beginning of that, when I started telling people, you know, there's something wrong with the left and what's happening to liberalism, I started getting just like this endless slew of online hate and being called a Nazi and a bigot and a homophobe and just like every ridiculous <laughs> thing that I could possibly be called. And friends were turning on me. Uh, in my book, I talk about a, a girl who was invited to my wedding who suddenly was telling me I'm a Nazi, I'm a bigot and all like just like horrific stuff. And yeah. I didn't realize this at the time, but you know, I'm pretty calm on the outside. This is how I am. If we weren't being recording right now, and if we were just having dinner, this is the tenor that I speak at. Um, but I guess I do internalize a lot of stress. And in, uh, it was the fall, late fall of 2015, I was getting my hair cut, and my, my stylist, Jess, who's a good friend of mine, she said, you better look at this. And she pulled a mirror out and she showed me the back of my head. And I had lost like a bunch of like, probably like two quarter size chunks of hair around my head. And I went to the doctor. I had no idea what was going on. I thought I had cancer or God knows what. And I was diagnosed with uh, alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune mm -hmm. disease, basically where I'm sure you're, you're aware, where your, your white blood cells uh, start attacking your hair follicles. And they have no known reason why it happens. They, is there some white nationalist problem on the right? Well, yes, it's Literally a tiny molded. little thing that has no institutional power. I don't think Trump oh, I know it's is part of it. I don't think Tucker Carlson is part of it. And because it's collectivist, it's actually left, not right. But that, that's a whole separate issue. If you, were, if you were really far right, that would mean that you're just the ultimate individualist, meaning you don't want government. So, you know, that's like you want to live in Mad Max or something, which I think is kind of fun to talk about. Now, is there some far right? That's horseshoe theory, everyone. And, you know, that's, it's that's like at it this is. point in the West, like, <laughs> oh, I thought that was just part of it. It's it's hard to it's hard to tell sometimes. And you know, it's like at this point in the West, like, does the New York Times deserve our respect yeah. anymore? I don't think so. Um, so the book <laughs> the book absolutely crushed it. We we you know we hit the New York Times bestseller, which <laughs> is a, and you know it's like at <laughs> Republicans like Dan Crenshaw and no, Tim Scott not. and maybe Candace Owens. Yeah. And, uh, yes, you will be maybe, old enough. And yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe Ben Shapiro, maybe Michael Knowles. Um, little, Nikki yeah. Haley, you'll get a, it does, not, maybe not even for president, yeah. but like you will get a crop. No, I only of, want the top job. I only <laughs> want, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you will get a crop of truly intellect, intellectually diverse yeah. people who care, know about truly. America. Like Trump, again, I don't have Trump derangement syndrome. I'm most yeah. likely voting for Trump. I'm, you know, I like, I don't, I actually see Why would you no not? way I around mean, yeah, it. Of at course. This point. Yeah. Um, but, but, no, I mean, I am voting for Trump. I, yeah. I can't see, I just literally can't see a way around it. You know, it's just, it just is what it is. Yeah. To our monarch, Thomas Bowe, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, I'm Rav, Stephen, Nine Tails Cosmic Fox and Hans Josephin, we bow meekly for your pleasure. To our Knights of the Round Table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Bythe, Alexander Thaler, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Clement Chutscott, Sky Bear Games, Moss Beast, Political Puppy, Alan R., Andreas Chitoro, Good Poon Hates Cops, That's Solid Poon Then, we salute you. And to all our merchants and farmers, we have our undying loyalty and love.